Okay, this is the second video for the um, D7N4 Girl Scout Zombie event, and this is where we're going to show you how to shred a t-shirt to look like zombie clothes. Now, um, again, the first thing you want to do is make sure that the t-shirt has the girl's name on it as well as her troop number so she gets the right one. Um, and then as prep work, we are going to cut off the hem of the t-shirt. So we're going to be using sharp scissors to do this. Doesn't have to be perfect because it's just going to be cut up anyway. All right. So we cut off the hem. We're also going to cut off the hem of the sleeves as well. Because it's just too hard for those little scissors to go through the hem. Do that to the other sleeve. We want to try to cut along where the seam is so that we're not taking off too much fabric. And then finally, we're going to cut off um, where the neck is as well. And we're going to try to stay pretty close to the neckline. Makes it easier to get on, looks a little more jagged, and it makes it look less like a plain old t-shirt. Okay. So, we've got that started. Now, there's going to be a couple of different things that we do depending on the age of the girls. Now, the uh, daisies, pretty much all they're going to do is just fringe the bottom of the t-shirt. So, we're going to take the scissors and, well, it's actually however much they want to do, but you can take your yardstick if you want and just put a line on here just to give them an idea of how far to cut. It's easier, hope you can see this, oh the oven's ready, if you cut up on the side. Okay, these little scissors don't work that well but they do work. The older girls can use the sharper scissors but the daisies should probably still be using kindergarten ones. So they're just going to keep fringing all the way up and make it uh, maybe finger width wide is what you're shooting for. Now in order for this video I'm just going to use the uh, sharper scissors so it goes faster. So you just keep going all the way up. Now for the little ones you may have to help them with the cutting, in which case you use your sharper scissors. Those ki the kindergarten scissors take a little more strength and it may be that it's easier for them to do it just one side at a time now that I think about it. And it doesn't really matter because if they're uneven, because we're going to be stretching them anyway. All right, getting to the end here. So the younger ones, there will probably be in a rotation of about 15 girls. So with the little ones, I'm hoping you'll only have somewhere between three to five um, girls to help. This is something that the brownies and the juniors can do without a problem. Uh, if they cut one off, it's not the end of the world. Okay, there we go. So these are all fringed here at the bottom. Now, the key thing to make this look interesting is that you're going to pull. So they're just going to pull it tight. You can see it sort of curls in. I hope that shows up in the video. Oops, I pulled that one right off. Maybe for them it's better if they go a little thicker so that doesn't happen. Okay. So there it goes. They're just going to fringe the whole, I mean, stretch out all of these. And even if they can't manage the cutting and you, older Girl Scouts that are helping and troop leaders, if you have to do the cutting, there's still enough for the girls to do to make it unique. And like I said, they're going to have about 20 minutes. All right. 
So I'm just going to do this to the front side so you get the idea of what it'll look like. Okay. So you can see how different it looks on the back. The more you stretch it, the better it looks. Now, if they want, they can also make a pattern with these. Um, I don't know if that'll be too hard. Where you just knot it like this. Just pull the knot tight. You want to leave a little bit at the top so you can see that design there. Okay. And they can just keep going all the way across. And again, this is for the girls that finish early so that they have something to do while the slower ones are still working. Um, they can just make it as much as they want. Okay. So you can keep going that way. Um, if they still finish early, they can then join these two down here with the knots. Ooh, maybe, well, maybe these aren't long enough to do it. I think that's probably going to be enough. So if they want to do that, just to make, give it a little more design, they sure can. Now, for the older girls, they can also do a design on the back. And the key for that is how you fold a t-shirt. So the first thing you want to do is hold it up, put the sleeves together. Okay, there we go. Now this is key. You do not want to be having this, the t-shirt folded in half. You're basically doing this so that you get um, a nice seam right here. So figure out where this is, um, sort of the center of the back. You're going to lift it up. Okay, there we go. Line up the shoulders, and this is more or less the center of the back. All right. Tell you what, I'm going to do that one more time so you can understand what I mean. Okay, so you get the t shirt, you fold the front together, lining up the sleeves. Okay, got that done. And then you sort of figure out where the center of the back is, lift it up so that the front of the shirt falls out. And there you have it, that's the center. Okay, now for this, this is so if they want to do like a ladder back, um, I wouldn't have it go down too far. Then you have to definitely wear a tank top underneath. But they can just draw a line. Again, it doesn't have to be precise. That's probably too much. Maybe a little less. Okay, somewhere in there. Now you're not cutting this way. The direction that you're going to be cutting, and this won't be the daisy, so this will be the older girl, so I'll use the sharper scissors. All right. Is you're going to be cutting this way so that you have horizontal cuts. You can make these a little bit thinner too. Not too thin because you're going to stretch these out also like we did before. And then I'm going to show, this can be enough, we'll stretch it out, and then if they still have time, they can weave it, and if they're really fast, I'll show you an extra fancy weaving they can put down the center. A lot of these girls may do this already at home, so they may know what they're doing. All right. So, this is what the back of the t-shirt looks like. You can see it's sort of got the ladder back going. So what you want to do now is again to stretch it out, not too hard because you don't want to pull them apart. If you do, it's okay. You just tie them back together again. But by stretching this out, it gives you more basically ribbon to work with to help do the weaving. And I'd have the girls do this one step at a time. So if they finish with the bottom fringing, they can go to here. If they finish with this, they can do the sleeves next. Okay, you can see it already has a different look because we've managed to, to stretch it out. Okay, so how you do the ladder back on the weaving, all right, is you take the top one, place it over the bottom, and reach up. It's just like doing finger knitting if you've ever done that. Again, take this top one, go over the bottom, pull the bottom one up. Place this over the one below it. Pull it up, all the way down, and it makes a really nice braided look at the edges of the weaving. Okay, here's the last one there. All right. 
Now, if you decide you still want more, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to put the scissors here to hold this into place. If you decide you still want more to have a, and that's how it looks, you want to put a center one, what you can do is you can do a twist. I hope this is still visible. So you take this with your fingers, make a loop, so you can see how you get your fingers through there, and then grab the one below, okay? Pick that up, twist it, grab the one below. Pick it up, twist, below. Keep going down until you get to that bottom one, or wherever you want to stop, I guess. It's getting a little bit tight. All right. And this, I might just do the regular weave because we've run out of room. Okay. There we go. Now, so you're back down to this bottom part. Pull this out good. Then you're going to want to snip this in half. Okay. And then you're just going to tie it onto itself. It's probably better if you have a slightly longer um, piece to work with. Well, I tell you what. You just tie it off however you want to do it. Let's do it this way. My shred got too tight at the end. And then if you have any, I'm sorry about the dog. There we go. Okay. And then you can switch it off. And that's what the back looks like. Somebody get the dog, please. Can you come get the dog? All right. Now the next thing you want to do is for. All right. And now we will continue with the uh, video tutorial on how to do the zombie shirts. I put a piece of uh, a placemat back here so you could get a good close-up of what the ladder back looks like with the two different designs going on. Um, again, that's only if the girls are finished early and they want something more to do. Uh, the juniors may also find time to work on the sleeves. Now you have a couple of choices with the sleeves. You can go ahead and fringe them in the same way that you fringe the bottom of the shirts, or you can do um, vertical slits down the side and that's going to look pretty interesting too. Now I would do this from the back or depending whichever has the lower uh, neckline either the front or the back because you want to make sure that you're not going to cut into a, um, a slot right there. So you can start oh maybe about an inch or two from here or you can just do uh, the sleeve part itself. And all we're going to do is just cut slits down, and this is going to make it fall in a more interesting manner. You may want to leave the very last piece to be a little bit bigger, and we can go ahead and see what that looks like. So you can see it still fits on the shoulder, but it's going to fall down. If you want, you can also um, pull them out here to make them look more stringy. Whatever the girls have the desire and the time to do, that's what their shirt's going to end up being. The other thing is you can also turn the shirt inside out. If the girl decides that she doesn't want whatever is showing here, if it's got stains or it's uh, from somebody's birthday party or whatever, they can turn it inside out and then they're dealing with more of a blank canvas. So that's what it looks like when you just do to here on this sleeve. I don't really know what it's going to look like. Uh, we can do the slits starting a little farther up. That was probably too deep right there. And again, none of this really matters because it's just supposed to look like uh, a zombie fashion. Zombies could care less about what they look like. So there you go. So you have it with um, when you have the slits going farther up, I would really leave at least two to three inches here so that it stays on the shoulder well, or if you just do it on the sleeve portion itself. So this is what our zombie t-shirts are going to look like. Thanks.